Aquarius darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for liking, for sharing this video so that this message gets out to other people so that I know that my work is being disseminated out to the masses. Anyway, I do appreciate your love, your support, and returning to watch another video of mine. Um, I do want to mention that I am available for personal readings and that if you want to sign up for a Capella membership, you get exclusive access to guided meditations, daily guidance videos, and a whole bunch of other awesome benefits. I'm offering a 14-day free trial for some of my memberships of the lower tier so that you can get a taste of what I offer that I do not put out on YouTube um, to help to better prepare you guys for what's coming down the pike because the collective is going to be going through some major, major, major changes. So it would uh, benefit you if you feel called to sign up for um, a membership. You can cancel at any time. You want to try it out for 40 days and it doesn't work out for you or whatever, that's fine. If you want to keep it, that's fine too. It's very easy to cancel. If you already have a membership and you feel like you want to get more out of it, as I am going to be doing live streams for members only very soon. I'm gonna make a bigger announcement about that later. So if you want to um, not have to be put on a list on my lives and be in a more uh, intimate environment and I can read, uh, I'll pull more cards with those readings as well it would uh, benefit you to sign up for one of the memberships that includes access to my members only live streams, okay? Check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com for more information on my Capella memberships. You also get free access to my mobile app where you can access all of the exclusive content there and you can chat with me and other people and go check out whatever else is there, all right? I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week, a wonderful month. With that being said, Let's get into your reading. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope everything is going awesome so far for you. I send you my uh, la 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 la. I send you many blessings and much, much love as I always do. What we're going to do here, Cancer, is we're going to see what is going on with you at this time, what obstacles you're facing, and what lessons you're learning from this situation to help you with your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. We're then going to get uh, your wellness message and see what's going on with love and relationships for you, all right? Okay. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, play and series, please reveal to us for highest good. What is going on with cancer at this time? I keep hearing Venus and cancer. So if you've got Venus and cancer, there's a significant uh, message for you here. Or you need to pay attention to something. Um, all right. This one just shot out of the deck there. We have the page of wands. Okay, so, Cancer, this is going for it. This is, you know, having that courage and confidence to be brave and bold, to go where no man has come before. This is you about to do something that you've never done. You may feel like you're not ready for it, but you are. You are up for the challenge, okay? Maybe you're going, You're some of you are going to receive an exciting message here it's it's news of an exciting new endeavor and whatever this message is cancer spirit wants you to take it it could be career it could be something about you know uh, doing a completely new job or something like that or moving or whatever because the page of wands also is a traveler so whatever this is it's something that lights you up, okay? And when it comes to you, take it. She already has the wand in her hand, okay? So get excited about this new beginning. Pages are about new things. Get excited about the new adventure. Get excited about going out there and saying, you know what? I'm going to do this. It may be a little daunting. It may be a little frightening. But guess what? You've got the fool at the bottom of the deck. Just jump in and do it. Without fear, Cancer, take a leap of faith. This is going to be one of the biggest risks you've ever taken. But this is going to be so rewarding for you. Because it's going to change the game for you. Okay, You have to step out of your comfort zone. 
You need to have faith in God that whatever this opportunity is being presented to you, whatever this message is about, that it is for you. It would not have presented presented it to you if it wasn't for you. If God didn't think you were ready. Your 3D self may be thinking you're not ready, but God does. God knows. It's a major arcana. It's a new beginning. It's the beginning of a new journey, a new adventure. It's the fool. Okay? Starting life completely anew. But you have to remember, Cancer, that you are ready for this. And this may be a risk that you've never taken before in your life. You've never taken a risk this big before in your life. This is very similar to me. And I have Venus in Cancer. When I got that job with the government years ago, and I had to move from Florida to Maryland, I had no family in Maryland. I had never stepped foot in that freaking state. I knew nothing about it. But I was excited. I was going to do something new. I had just graduated from college. I had to wait six months to get my clearance. And then I got the exciting news. We're going to move you up, Jess. You got the job. You got cleared. And I was like, oh my gosh. This is like novice energy, but I was curious. I was excited about it. I said, man, am I, am I ready for this? But again, God didn't have them send me that message. I didn't get that job for no reason. And let me tell you guys, when I think about why that I was, I even got that job in the first place, it really revealed to me why it had to happen because it led to where I'm at now. And if it weren't for me taking that leap of faith and stepping out of my comfort zone and moving away from my parents' house and all that stuff, moving to a completely new place I had never lived before, let alone visited with nobody around, I took such a huge risk that God blessed me magnanimously after that. And I'm being blessed magnanimously even now because of it. And what's funny is that I met my divine counterpart because I took that risk. And then everything really shifted after that. And it led me to here. And I'm living my best life. And I'm in such peace and happiness. It's not even funny. I'm not, I'm not even in that job anymore. But the life that God has blessed me with. Because I kept taking those risks. It's been phenomenal. So I'm telling you guys this story to encourage you, to inspire you, to just do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Let me tell you guys, I was a huge introvert, okay? I was afraid to go out there and venture on my own. It was scary as all hell, but I'm so glad that I did it because you know what? Now, when things come my way or I need to do something, take action on something, and I've never done it, I have no fear whatsoever. This is the fearless journeyman. Because I trusted in God. I had faith in God. I said, well, if God presented this to me, then this must be what God wants me to do. Trust in what God is wanting you to do, Cancer. And take the leap of faith. It's going to bring you to a completely new life. But you've got to go into this without fear. But I'm getting very strong for some of you. This is going to be the biggest risk you've ever taken, but you need to take it. It's a major arcana. God is giving you a fresh start. It's like a big do-over. But you got to take that leap. And you cannot be worried about the unknown. You could not be worried about the future, the what-ifs. I don't know if I could do this. Uh, yes, you can. Because again, it would have been presented to you. I already told you my story about moving from the state that I grew up in and was raised in for 20 some years. This whole move to Maryland and being here for over a decade has helped me to prepare for my mission work and to help me to be that fearless journeyman with no matter what it is that I start, and I know it doesn't end here. I'm going to jump in and do it. So you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm excited about it. It's something new. 
you can't learn, grow, and evolve if you don't start new things, guys. If you don't embrace changes. You will still stay in your own little bubble, your own little world, and don't expect any more excitement in your life. Don't expect any magic, any any miracles to happen when you're in your comfort zone. That's not where it happens. You got to take that journey and venture out there. There's something about travel. Like I said, some of you are going to be traveling more or you're going to have to travel, move to a completely different place. You are going to move because of a job or... Um, you're getting this ambition, this this need to just like have a different environment. Maybe you've outgrown your environment, Cancer. So get excited about it. Get excited, Cancer. This is gonna be the biggest change in your life. This is going to be the biggest risk you've ever taken thus far. Um, so, yeah, there's exciting news coming in. Okay. It's really going to light you up. You know, and uh, just have confidence in yourself. Have that courage. You have the ability to, to take up on this opportunity to start that new adventure. But there's some pretty awesome news coming in here. And I'm getting very strongly for a few of you. And remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For somebody else who's watching this, keep your unhealthy ego at the door and make sure you're honest with yourself in the situation. I'm getting for others of you, there's a big, big energy of literally moving to someplace completely different. This is what this fool is telling me. This full card. And I'm saying, I'm hearing pack light. Take very little with you. You don't need to take everything that you have right now. Just take, you know, some necessities or whatever and give everything away, sell everything or whatever and start anew because this new life that you're going to have is going to be bigger and better. See how there's only, she only has like this knapsack here. For some of you, you're moving across country or you're moving to a place near water, maybe closer to the ocean. I'm hearing Pacific, which would be... Washington State, California, and um, Oregon. But I'm getting stronger California vibes with this. You may even be getting some exciting news about some opportunity that's being presented to you to move there. Okay? Again, it could be a job or, or something else, something with your mission work. But there's there's something new happening here. Yeah, I see, travel, Six of Swords. things. It's going to be a completely different life sunnier days cancer brighter days like the worst is over whatever you've been struggling with no more struggles no more worries um you know a lot more peace in your life a lot more tranquility smooth sailing okay maybe you're literally going to be sailing i don't know where i get that from smooth sailing okay it's a completely different life an even better life than what you had before. And there is relocation. There is relocation. Just You're moving just to move or you're moving because of a job or something or maybe even like a partnership. Huh. And I say partnership because look who's at the top of the deck. It's the Knight of Cups. You may be dealing with another water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But this is also, for some of you, somebody's coming in to offer... They're a cop. They're going to... Somebody's been admiring you from afar. Someone has a lot of love and uh, affection for you. I'm hearing like they've fallen in love with you all over again. Maybe because you're also kind of like this page of wands energy where you're playful and you're excited and you are you have this spark about you and it's just like go, go, go. And, and you know, it, it, you're fun to be around. This light about you is very magnetizing. And this Knight of Cups is falling in love with you all over again and they're like preparing themselves to be vulnerable with you and to not be afraid of their vulnerabilities to not be afraid of sensitivities. They are, um, looking into this cup here because they see you in it. You are a reflection of them now. Cause you guys are, are, you've changed a lot. You're this vibrational match I'm hearing. And, um, this person's coming in to offer you, 
uh, love here and it could be in a very artistic way in a very creative way because that's what the knight of cups does i get very strong music energy with this like writing a song or something like that but like i keep when i say that i always see elton john's your song right maybe somebody literally wrote you a song or they've been sending you a lot of songs and now it's time for them to actually play a song for you or send you the song that they wrote okay that can be part of the excitement with this message that comes in or something or they send you a link hey this is a song i wrote for you or whatever something like that it's very romantic it's very heartfelt okay it's a very sincere message it's a very sincere offer um this could even come with it a marriage proposal okay an invitation to a romantic trip, right? Because we did get travel here, all right? An invitation to go away with them to do something. There's just like, this. there's a lot of romance here, but this person is, is being very creative with this. For the others of you, this is you venturing out to do something different and following your heart, following your creative artist, uh, your creative pursuits, your artistic talents, okay? Doing what you love. You're going to go out there and, and go on that quest for the Holy Grail. You're going to see what ultimately really lights you up or really fills your cup. Because you got to fill your cup up first, right? You can't pour from an empty cup, Cancer. So the others of you, this is about venturing out there. It's like, I'm going to start this new life. I'm excited about this new adventure because it's gonna. it really is going to be glorious, Cancer. Like I, the energy that I'm feeling right here, if you can't feel it or you can't tell by my voice... It's really, really exciting. And I'm getting chills when I say this. It's going to be something that you've never done, you've never experienced, but you are going to see the beauty in this. You're going to see how fulfilled and how blissful you will feel when you just take that leap of faith and go do it. You take that chance and you have that courage to go on this quest for this grail. To see what this love for yourself is all about. What the true divine love of God is all about. And to see what ultimately makes you happy. It's going to be a beautiful journey. It won't necessarily be easy. Because it never is. But you got to go into that with that full energy. That, that childlike curiosity. The excitement. You know what? I'm going to be listening to God from now on. I'm not going to worry about what anybody else says. I'm going to follow what God tells me to do. I'm going to get excited about this. I want to try something new. It's really awesome energy. I really, really like it. And then there's the page again. There's the communication. Learning. Learning new things. Okay. Maybe doing some research. Um, looking up information. This could even be some of you getting inspired right doing what you love what makes you happy maybe there's something about you um doing something different with regards to setting up something on social media because this is a social media card starting your youtube channel starting your instagram stuff or building the website or whatever you know it's communications here helping you to um be more vocal, I'm hearing, or to not be afraid of speaking your truth. There's something about overcoming your, your public speaking issues or your throat chakra issues, something along those lines. So let's see what the obstacle here is. What is the obstacle here for cancer? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. The world card in the reverse. Okay, I think Aquarius got this in the reverse in their reading for uh, this week. All right, stalling. Guys, what are you stalling? You want the new beginning, but you need to take action. You need to have that bravery to just go and do it, to take the leap of faith. You're afraid it's going to be a disappointment. You're afraid that like it's it's not going to be that whole new world or it's not going to be exciting. It's not going to be adventurous. How do you know that cancer if you don't just take the leap of faith? You are never going to know unless you take the risk. You can't take shortcuts either. It's a long journey with the fool. 
You go from the fool to the world, but the world is in the reverse. God is trying to close out a cycle for you, but you need to be the one to close it out. Meaning you got to be the one to be determined enough and courageous enough to go actually out there and do something about it. You need to be the change you want to see. You, it's time for you to follow your passions, okay? Your creative endeavors. Build that confidence. You need to finish what you started. There's something here. Maybe you guys have been building something, okay? And, and you're almost there at the completion of it, but your confidence levels, your courage is stopping you. The risk-taking part of you is stopping you. And I know sometimes for cancers, it's difficult for them to step out of their comfort zone. But look, guys, God is not playing around. Like, it's time for you to do this. Because it is going to be a completely different life for you if you just jump in and do it. God is not going to close out this chapter in your life for you, Cancer. You need to be the one to do it. You got to stop stalling. You got to finish what you started. Just have that courage and confidence to just do it. Okay? Bottom of the deck is, is Seven of Pentacles. Some of you may be like, oh, well, it's a long journey. It's going to take a long time. Patience could be a problem for some of you. Could be a challenge for some of you. But you have to understand that with good things take time. Okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. You plant a seed in the soil. That plant doesn't grow overnight. Right? Just be patient. But also keep going. You can't stop here why are you stalling why are you stalling cancer there's no need to just stop right here when you're at almost to the end of something big it's the world card but it's in the reverse you got to keep persevering again it's like just take the leap of faith just 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 do it you're gonna feel so much better when you do it cancer just take action on this Whatever this is. Or or accept this opportunity when this opportunity comes in. This is like stagnation again. Not growing, not moving forward, or you know, not having patience here. It's like, oh my gosh, I just, you know, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to embark on this journey towards healing or I'm not gonna be able to to deal with all of this. Like what there's a lot of hard work involved. Yeah, there's a lot of hard work involved in a lot of things. Cancer. You got to keep moving, you got to keep growing. You may be making investments in things where you're getting a report a poor return in. Really reevaluate what those things are and stop investing your time, money, and energy into those things or people. Okay? It's time to invest in you. In you. Things aren't closing out. There's no new beginning for you, some of you, because you're investing in things that have nothing to do with you, your personal growth. Because there's this issue of like, Having that bravery to just go and do it. If this is a money thing, some of you may be focusing too much on the money aspect of it and nothing's changing with that. Put that money towards yourself. Start working on those projects. Start finishing the projects. When you're doing your healing, don't just stop all of a sudden expecting, okay, where are my rewards? The healing never ends, Cancer, whoever, for whoever needs to hear that. Good things take time. You got to persevere through this.
But if you're not investing in yourself right now, Cancer, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. Because you won't know the type of business you'll be able to grow, the type of legacy you'll be able to uh, create. You won't know what your true abilities are. You won't be able to come into the fullness of your destiny, your full potential. But again, it takes time. Healing takes time. Growing takes time. It takes a very long time to do a lot of things. So get out of stagnation mode, especially if, if this whole impatient nature is affecting you. You just got to continue to have that childlike curiosity and just keep going. For the others of you, it, it's the end of delays is what I'm hearing. Okay? Because I'm also getting the wait is over. You don't have to wait anymore. You've put in all of that hard work. You understood what was more valuable in your life. You've done a lot of investing in your personal growth, in your business, in your projects. Whatever this is. Uh, your health, your healing. Um... You've, you've been very, very, very patient for the others of you. But you understood why you had to wait. Because God was preparing you for something bigger and greater. And when you are not prepared to receive your massive blessings, you run the risk of losing it all. Or fucking it up, as I say. That's why God wants everybody to be fully prepared. That's why he has us wait. He wants to make sure. Are you ready, really ready to receive what I'm about to give you? This is a millionaire card because this could very well be somebody's hard work. Their harvest could be a very, very big harvest. It can, and it happens, guys. It's possible for someone to all of a sudden become a millionaire or something, it is possible. If not, if I'm not mistaken, I think it happened to an astrologer that I follow. Based on but what he was talking about months ago, it's possible. It's the end of delays. No more like waiting around. No more stagnation. You maybe were wondering, okay, I'm planting these seeds, I'm persevering, I'm, I'm growing, I'm learning, I'm evolving, I'm being patient, right? And God's like, okay, let's see if you can be more patient, whatever. But you continue to have that, that page of wands energy, just like that determination. I just got to keep going with this. And because you've been patient, again... I'm hearing it's the end of stagnation. It's the end of, of not seeing what you've been harvesting. Not seeing what you've been planting. We've been growing. It's the end of that. The wait is over. And there's some significant change in somebody's finances here. Again, stagnation. There's stagnation all over this. Stagnation, stagnation, delay, slowing down, not taking action, delay, stagnation, not, not doing anything. Not making for progress, not closing the loop, not closing the, the lap, the cycle. Okay? It's like a big regression here. The others of you, you, this is a big challenge for you. You have to keep going. You can't rest on your laurels. You have to keep going. And you can't get hung up on the unknown either. All right? Again, patience and perseverance are big. The others of you, things are about to take off rapidly. A lot of things are going to be happening one after the other. All right? You thought things were slowing down. Things weren't moving. It's slow growth type of thing. Well, guess what, Cancer? That is really going to shift 
real fast out of nowhere. And I'm hearing probably Virgo season because Virgo is the month of harvest, right? And when I see this, it's the number eight. Eight is the eighth month of the year. It's August. Part of Virgo season is in August. And I don't like to put times out there, guys. They wanted me to say it because that's applicable for somebody. All right. That's the lesson. What lesson is Cancer learning from this situation? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, play in Syrians. have a lesson oh oh and then the eight of swords comes out in the reverse yeah you gotta take your power back you gotta be the one to go take action and do things and not give in to fear and just have that courage and go because you want things to end uh, cycle you want cycles to end cancer but you need to be the one to do something about it and that involves taking a leap of faith and having having uh taking that leap of faith yes and and, and taking those risks okay um this is not getting caught up in the illusions, not having those negative thoughts. When is this going to happen? When is this going to end? Okay. Uh, some of you, you overcame this. You maintained a positive mindset and, oh, thank you, spirit. You were remaining optimistic. Okay. I'm hearing stay optimistic with this now, cancer, because there's going to be something new. But again, you have to have a positive mindset. Not a negative mindset, okay? That negative mindset needs to go because for some of you, your negative mindset is what is blocking things from moving forward. And you have to trust in divine timing and you have to be patient. Just because you don't see anything happening, Cancer, doesn't mean something is not happening. God is always doing his work, especially when you don't see things. Again, when you plant seeds, you don't expect those sprouts to grow, those trees to grow, whatever to grow overnight, let alone like a month's time, depending on what you're growing, okay? You got to find that mental strength and you really need to release these illusions about, I don't see anything growing. I don't see anything happening. God is working here, Cancer. You do not need to see the hard work that you've put in. If you feel it, then go by that. Right? Do you think a farmer, when he puts in those pumpkin seeds into the ground, he's standing around just looking at it, waiting for things to sprout? No, he's got other things to do. Right? He's got other things to do. It's like watching, what's that called? Uh, watching a pot of boiling water or waiting for the water to boil. We all know we've all done it. We walk away and you're like, oh shit, the water is boiling. I got to put the pasta in it, right? And you're like, how did it boil so fast? I've done this because I was curious and I stood there. I'm like, why is it taking eons for the water to boil? And it's true. You walk away, you're not looking at it. And what happens the boil, the boil of water, the water, the pot of water starts to boil out of nowhere. You don't need to see anything, Cancer. Because if you're standing there trying to look for those sprouts or whatever, you should be doing other things. Again, the hard work that you're putting in is going to pay off. But when you're not seeing the results, that's because God is doing something big for you. And again, keeping a positive mindset. Don't put negativity into this and don't surround yourself with negativity. Be careful with your watching, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, who you're dealing with to put these negative thoughts into your head. Well, well, cancer, what, you've been doing this for a long time. I don't see any growth. I don't see any success here. Why are you still investing your time in this, right? Because some of you put a lot of time, money, and investment into whatever it is that you're trying to grow. And other people may be watching you or telling you, 
hey, Cancer, you know what? I don't see anything. It's like, what have you been up to? I, I, I know you have this business. I know you have this, but you might even have a YouTube channel. And maybe somebody's watching your YouTube channel and they're like, oh, it's not growing or they don't get as many views or whatever. It, it, whatever that's coming from, guys, don't, don't pay attention to that. You have no freaking clue what God is doing behind the scenes here. So don't look at it with your human eyes. Look at it from your third eye. Feel what it is that you know is coming and remain optimistic, okay? You're thinking like, what's the holdup? What's the delay? I don't see anything growing. I don't, I'm not reaping my harvest. I've been doing this for a long time because God's preparing you. God is preparing you. It's like, I'm going to say a quick story because they keep telling me this. And I watched La Latoya Okia. Um, if you've never seen her before, she's great. She was making a great example about how she ended up buying a Jaguar when she was working at the dollar store, okay? And she was like, oh, I'm going to go get my Jaguar and I'm going to have this car. And people are going to look at me a certain way, whatever. She jumped the gun, right? She wasn't prepared for it. She ended up losing the car, right? And I love the way she talked about it because she was being so raw and so honest because her example was trying to get other people to see, don't do what I did. I was not prepared to have that car. And then she lost it. And then she talked about how she ended up getting into debt because of it, the consequences of her actions. And she learned a hard lesson from that. She needed to be patient. She was like, okay, yeah, I want the Jaguar, but I need to, to prepare for it. I need to do my work. I need to do what God's asking me to do. Because again, I said, for those of you, especially if you're becoming millionaires or getting a lot of money all of a sudden, um, if, if you are not prepared for that harvest, you run the risk of fucking it up and losing it all. And that is not what God wants for you, which is why you do not need to see like the evidence of the, the hard work that you're putting in right now because God's just going to make it appear on his own time. And for a lot of you, it's going to come out of nowhere with the eight of wands. Okay. Some of you, um, this is about you saying, I can't get out of the situation. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. There's no way out. Why isn't anything changing? Why, why do I keep having these delays? Why am I not moving forward? I want to have a new life. I want to get out of the stagnant energy. It's because it's up to you. Your thoughts are telling you that you can't get out, out of the situation. That's an illusion. You have the power to do anything, but you have to take action. You need to do something and you cannot give into that fear. You got to have that bravery and that courage to just go and do it. Take the leap of faith. Your mind is so clouded here. You're mentally scattered because you keep doubting yourself. You keep losing confidence and courage. You're not remaining optimistic because you're looking at the situation with your 3D eyes. You need some visible proof or something like that. Or you need, um, like, I don't know. It's like you need something in the physical to get you going. When you feel that restlessness inside of you to just go and do it, or God's just giving you the message to just go and do it. It's up to you. If you're thinking that this new thing that you want to start or whatever this is, that it's going to end up in doom and gloom, then guess what? It's going to end up in doom and gloom. Why? Because your thoughts create your reality. And again, for those who are waiting for a message or waiting for something new to happen, um, again, don't let your thoughts cloud your judgment. Get out of that negative mindset because you're wondering, I don't see anything. What about all the hard work I put in? Where's the harvest? Did I do something wrong? Am I on the right path? Okay. You got to find that mental strength to get out of those negative thoughts here. 
and to stop doubting all the hard work that you've put in. And there's the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's the hard work. The others of you, you need to put in the hard work. Some of you, it's time to invest in your personal growth. Like I said, you got to start doing the inner work, the shadow work, all of that stuff, working your dharma. This is the working your dharma card. Because when you're living your purpose, you're so immersed in that that you don't, you don't think about time. You don't get hung up on when am I going to get my rewards? When are things going to change? When are the delays are going to end? Because you're so excited about what it is that you're doing. Again, that childlike energy. You're, you're, you're playful. You're, you're ambitious. It's like, I love doing this. And you're not getting caught up in, oh my God, it's taking too long. Why is this not working? Why is this not happening? Some of you stopped investing in your personal growth and your healing you stopped investing in yourself some of you stopped doing the work because you didn't see anything happening no you have to keep persevering here cancer for those of you who are resonating with this again good things take time that hard work will pay off but it happens in divine timing because god is preparing you There's a repetitive cycle of you guys wanting to see things right away, not being patient. You do something and you need something to happen right away. Nope, this is not what this is. This is a repetitive cycle. Some of you, some of you have an issue with not sticking to your guns, not sticking to what it is that you've committed to yourself. The project, the business, the um, personal growth. Your self-growth, your shadow work, whatever this is. Some of you have a tendency because you want it done now. You want it more quickly. You can't see any progress. You can't see any growth that you stop doing it. You have to keep going because you have no idea how close you could be. And again, you have to have that patience. God is really building your character, your strength and re resilience. He's trying to see how... how uh, you know, if, if you have that energy, the page of wands, this is a powerhouse of energy to keep going. It's up to you, Cancer. If you want some, some new beginning, you can't stop. You cannot rust on your laurels. You have to keep doing the work. And you have to get out of that negative mindset. The hard work will pay off. All right. And you're not stuck. You are never stuck. There is always a way out. And that it's up to you to find that way out. And when your mind is racing with thoughts and there's scattered energies here, then guess what? Your mind is not clear enough to find a solution to how to get out of a stuck situation. And some of you may feel like you're stuck or there's a delay because you're not seeing anything happening. You're not seeing anything growing. But that's the illusion, right? Your thoughts are getting in the way. Your mental state's getting in the way. But what does your heart feel? There's also some energy here where um, with this... Uh, not going anywhere, no progress being made, right? Being in this like stuck energy, it looks like that's coming to an end, especially if this is with financial, because this eight of pentacles is showing somebody giving this person who's been building, who's been doing the hard work, they're giving them money. There could be somebody who may be investing in a project that you're doing, investing in your business. That could be part of this page of wands. It's an exciting message, this opportunity coming in. But it looks like uh, somebody may be helping you financially with something to get you out of a bind, perhaps, because maybe you're trying to do something and we did get the energy of moving, of traveling. Um, you may want something for somebody you may want to move. You've been wanting to move, but you need resources. You need help with the move. You need the money for the move. You need yeah, money, resources, and help for the move because this is resources. And you're kind of like, 
I'm a little bit trapped here because you've been doing everything you need to do, but you know there are other things that um, uh, you need the assistance of that you've been trying to manifest to get you moving. But it looks like your energy, so it depends. If you have negative thoughts about not getting the help, the resources, the money for this, especially if it's a move, then you need to change your mental state, okay? You need to be more optimistic. But if you're remaining optimistic and you're not giving in to the stuck energy, you're not giving in to these negative thoughts, thinking that there's no way out here, you're being positive about it, you're continuing to do your mission work or do whatever it is, you are bringing in somebody who's going to help with this. Again, the money resources and, and, and the help with whatever the situation is, all right? And then after the Eight of Pentacles is the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something suddenly shifting. There's something, um, there's an exciting event happening. It's going to happen very quickly. This could very well be with the Eight of Pentacles. Something faded is happening with somebody who's coming in to help you with this. Because you're, you're staying committed to your Dharma, your task. You're not worrying about being stuck. You're not worried about the delays. So there's something karmic here. There's something faded. This wheel's turning in an upward direction could very well be somebody coming into great fortune here. All right. Somebody's financial situation is changing to be able to get them to, to do other things. Um, this is also optimism because this is Jupiter energy and Jupiter also is about optimism as well. Uh, but remembering that you can't control, there are things happening beyond your control. All right. Like I talked about with, with being patient and needing to see your progress, your growth, or to see the fruits of your labor right away, you can't you can't control you know what you uh, how fast something is going to come to fruition. All right, you you've got to let God Jesus take the wheel with that wheel of fortune. So if there's some sort of control you guys are doing, you're you're adding more karma to your plate because you're not allowing nature to take its course. You're not allowing divine timing to come into play, right? So. But again, the others of you, there's something faded here. There is a change in your situation financially for some of you. Uh, also with moving, that is travel again. <laughs> that could be sudden travel right there. So take that how it resonates. Okie dokie. Let's go see what your wellness message is. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians, please thank you. Please reveal to us for our highest good. What wellness message do we have for cancer? Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Lipidolite, recall your dreams. Oh, is it not going to focus? There we go. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Sh Iolite, shift your money mindset. Alrighty. Let's see what Lipidolite says. Discover a new dimension of yourself by tapping into the power of the invisible dream world. There is so much information accessible to you within the symbols and storylines of your dreams. They offer a deeper method of understanding and self-reflection, a way to expand beyond the physical realm and learn from your subconscious mind. Start by asking yourself a question before you go to bed and see if you can work out the answer in your dreams. When you awake, write down all the details you can recall. Making this a regular practice will allow you to access the subconscious information about yourself. Your question you should ask yourself is, when was my last vivid dream? What happened after a dream that felt like it had a message? What messages can I uncover from my dream state? Your affirmation is, I am enlightened by messages from my dream self. The next time you wake up, recall your dreams in a journal as soon as you can. Some of you, you're getting a lot of messages in your dreams. Okay, you could be being told, just go after it, or this message is going to come in, take up on this opportunity, take the leap of faith, do something new. It's up to you. Like, stop just waiting around or waiting to see something. 
Okay, so there's something being communicated to you in your dreams. This is also about you having the courage to take a chance and take that leap of faith and go after your dreams. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that lights you up? Go follow those exciting new things that you want to do and not give in to any fear. Again, having that courage. But if you want something different, you want to start a new life, you want this cycle to end of stagnation or whatever, you need to do something about it, right? It's up to you. Stop having these negative thoughts that you're not ready or, 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 or this is not going to happen or something like that. Or some, there, some, there will be some issue, some doom and gloom. You will fail, whatever that is. You can't let that fear hold you back. You cannot let those negative thoughts hold you back. All right? You got to just jump in and do it. You want your dreams to come true, Cancer. You need to take action and do what's necessary to take the steps to have your dreams come true. They just don't fall into your lap. You do your part and God does the rest. I light. Money might make the world go round, but it shouldn't have you running in circles. It's important to view your cup as half full instead of half empty to maintain a healthy perspective. When you shift your attention from what you don't have to appreciating what you do, you attract more of what you desire in your life. Embrace a feeling of enoughness and know that whether or not you have everything you want, you definitely have everything you need. Bring more awareness to your internal state and challenge yourself to express gratitude for where you are and what you have right now. Instead of chasing money and material items, chase happiness and satisfaction with your life as it is currently. You will soon see that your cup runneth over. Are you a conscious spender? Do you buy what you want or what you need? What would make you content with your financial situation? Your affirmation is, I live in a state of abundance. Today, express appreciation for all that you have. Amethyst is at the top. Trust your intuition. All right. Let's see what's going on with love and relationships for you. What's going on with love and relationships for Cancer? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, pleading Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Chasing a dream, Cancer, not chasing the dollar or the pound or whatever currency you use. <laughs> the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Honor the masculine. Respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. Okay, that card hasn't come out yet since I was since I've been using this deck here. All right, let's see what the mirror says. It is time to gently yet firmly see the truth about who you are and to understand that who you are is not ugly or lacking, but a truthful, beautiful, wonder-laden voyage into the soul. It is time to be shown what the eye cannot always see. But what the spirit has sensed, this may come through observations, loving words from friends who are truly able to see you, from a stranger who notices something that too many overlook, or it can come in a moment when you glimpse who you have become. Dreams, visions, and flashes of intuition are also the mirrors that work with us at this time. Mirrors and who you appear to be will be coming up for you. Be sure to embrace the mirror and the magical mermaid's tool as an ally and wonders in healing will unfold. So they want me to read this part too in this card. But the mermaid can help us with this as she holds up a mirror, but a magical one that not only shows us our appearance, it shows all of ourselves, our sweetness, our hurts, and our scars. In it, we may see what is hidden to the eye of the body, but known to the eyes of the soul. In dreams, these mirrors may appear in an emotional times when we realize that we are still hurting or have wounds we have sought to cover up. There is no need to cover up or camouflage in this beautiful mirror, nor is it right to judge the scars and woundings or the beauty and the glory. They simply are, and by seeing clearly, especially in the dark mirror of the Great Mother Ocean, 
we can see who we are. While we swim in clear waters, we can see the light and the positive. But when we swim in dark waters, we can truthfully see so much of who we are and make changes, adaptations, or come to accept the truth of who we are without seeking to adjust. We come to self-love, self-knowledge, and self-healing. And then we have number 10. Honor the masculine. For many of the men in this world, there is a sense of confusion, shame, and uncertainty about who they are meant to be. If they are masculine, powerful, dominant, and assertive, they run the risk of being seen in experiences controlling and cruel. Many men feel that their sense of vulnerability and their emotional self has to be buried with an active self, a self who fixes, who knows what to do, who satisfies, satisfies and who makes sure all is well. The idea of masculinity has been corrupted and overtaken culturally, just as the concept of femininity has been hurt too. And we have many wounded heroes, wounded goddesses, wounded gods in our world. This does none of us, male, female, heterosexual, every sexual, homosexual, any good at all. It is necessary for us all to reclaim the sacred aspects of masculinity, to recreate and encourage a healthy masculinity that is unique and encouraged, supported and listened to. We have so many stereotypes about how a man must behave, and men are suffering, perhaps in some ways even more so than women, as they have been so disconnected from their true selves. When this card comes to speak to you, if you are a man, it is time to understand, embrace, and truly honor the expression of your masculinity. Think back to your childhood and youth before you were told who you were, what it is to be a man be it by your culture and by your family and through your schooling and relationships. Who are you? Consider the possibility that your own masculinity has been constructed to protect you. Perhaps some aspects of what you have been taught have created sadness, shame, and may even have ensured you missed out on a full and authentic experience as a man so far. Men are sensitive. Men are sacred. Men are gods. And the powerful insight of the merfolk can show you how to go deeply into the way your gender has shaped your destiny this lifetime. The merfolk encourage you to reshape it into a form that expresses who you truly are, not who you were taught to be. This could also be some of you need to honor your masculine side, okay, with taking action, being cur courageous, okay, doing new things, um, not stalling, not being afraid to do stuff, not having this paralyzing fear, um, doing the work, okay, doing the work ties into masculinity, taking action, um, uh, making things happen, taking responsibility for your actions, um, those types of things. This could also be something about your actual masculine, meaning your counterpart, where if your counterpart is not doing the work, if you're not doing the work, then your counterpart is not going to be doing the work because you guys are mirrors. Okay, you may be expecting your masculine to do something first or to do whatever. You have to take that out of your head. Okay, um, you have to literally honor the masculine. And it says respecting men there. Okay, embrace the masculine and divine. Um, especially with these men who are trying, especially if they're sensitive. A lot of them have a hard time dealing with that, especially with the vulnerability. And we saw the Knight of Cups, right? This is overcoming those sensitivities because so many males are actually set, taught, taught you can't cry, you can't express your emotions, you can't be sensitive because what? Those are feminine energies and then they're looked at as girls or whatever. And they get chastised and ridiculed. So they end up becoming someone who they're not. And when you suppress your feminine energy, your masculine energy goes up. But your distorted masculine energy rises and that leads to anger. It leads to control. It leads to cruelty. It re re leads to war. It leads to murder, okay? All of these dark things. We have to honor that feminine side in, in men, okay? But again, this is also you honoring the masculine within you too because we all have masculine energies. Not being afraid to be vulnerable. Not being afraid to be sensitive, okay? But there's, there's hypersensitivity too. You got to balance those things out. But this is more taking those actions. You know, you got to really understand who you really are, especially with regards to relationships. And this could very well be saying with your relationships, you are mirroring the wounds of someone, okay? If you're not healed, 
they're not healed. You're not healed. They're marrying back to you your unhealed self. And this talked talked about healing and self-love, did it not? If you don't love yourself, how do you expect your masculine to love you? They won't love themselves either, okay? You're, you're attracting mirror images of yourself. Um, and that goes with all relationships, not just, not just necessarily your masculine, okay? But again, there's having that balance between loving yourself and taking care of yourself and actually doing the things necessary to do your work, your inner work, your shadow work, your healing, your dharma, all of those things. And again, with that money mindset, right? Thinking that money is power, money makes the world go round. That is what a distorted masculine thinks. This is what actual males have been taught to believe that if they have this money, if they have all of this, this status, this job, that it makes them a man, that it makes them powerful. It makes them successful. That is totally false. It is totally false. All right. Because it doesn't. All right, Cancer. I hope this helped you. If you would like a personal reading with me or you want to sign up for a 14-day free trial of my Capella memberships, check out the description box below. Go to capellawellness.com. Check out the memberships there. Choose which one calls to you and check out the free trial. You have nothing to lose by doing that, all right? You can cancel easily if you don't want to keep it. If you want to keep it, by all means, that would be great. You get to join in at my members-only live sessions. We're amazing sessions with amazing people. You get to be entered into a drawing for free readings every month. A bunch of, uh, on top of all my daily guidance videos, you get private access to my mobile app. You can chat directly with me there. And a whole bunch of the other tiers have a lot of other awesome benefits, okay? So click on that link below, check those things out, and go try it out for 14 days. If you have any questions about the memberships or my services, please don't hesitate to ask me. All right, Cancer, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starry out.